All right. So uh, this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. I monthly tarot reading February 2020, general one. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested into a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website. That set aside, uh, we move to the spread straight away and the spread is going to be eight card spread and the very first one, which stands as the topic of your month, that is going to be the Queen of Cups. Followed by the next one, which is the energies supporting the topic, that will be the Eight of Cups. Followed by the next one here, which is the challenges that you will need to overcome here. We have the Page of uh, Pentacles. Then the fourth one, it is the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the month. That is going to be the Devil card. Then it is uh, how you're going to stand in the face of others or kind of like what kind of an impression you're going to make eh, among your co-workers, among the, your friends, among your beloved ones and so on and so forth. Here we do have the Knight of Swords. Followed by the next one, it is what is going to help your long term goal or what is going to improve drastically your circumstances. We have the Five of Swords in that particular case. Next one, it is what is going to um, hurt your long-term goal or what is going to deteriorate your circumstances throughout the month of February. That will be the Nine of Wands. And the final one here, it is the King of Wands, which stands as the guidance of the month for you, Leo. Oh my. Okay, so... Where do I even begin from? So uh, the month itself, Leo, it will be a month uh, where you are, you are going to attempt to find um, where your true feelings, true emotions are residing. So rest assured, guys, if now you are feeling and fulfilled emotionally, that is either career-wise or relationship-wise, because you may not be fulfilled emotionally career-wise. Or in other words, you may not like, you know, your career in any way. Uh, that is that should change throughout the month of February. So the month of February here promises to you that you are going to start more and more nurturing and and how can I say it? Cherishing the feelings of your heart. You're going to follow them more than before and therefore you're going to find yourself transformed. Now, there are many ways how this can uh, manifest itself, all right? And there are positive and negative. One of the positive ways, it is, for example, you despised your career up until now, but now new projects are starting that really makes you feel excited. They're promising you a lot of good traits, a lot of good stuff, and you are now finally are finding the emotional satisfaction of the job you're doing. And uh, by the way, that is very, very possible here, having the energies of the, of the Eight of Cups. But in a negative aspect, or in a negative way, how if, how it how it can unfold and negative not for you but for the situation say you are married okay but there is no love any longer into the marriage you're just together just for the children say and now you're finding your new love elsewhere okay and you're falling in love you're you're basically uh, nurturing and following the feelings of your heart uh, and the, the time is going to come where you're going to start feeling very miserable into your home place and very happy with the person you're falling in love with and th with the eight of cups the more you go through the months of uh, february the more you're going to start considering splitting with your current wife or with your current husband regardless of what this is going to cause to the children, okay? So this is a, a negative impact if, if that reading takes place in that particular case. But in the um, in a general aspect here, uh, the energies point that you are going to start fulfilling, you know, the uh, exhilaration or the wellness of your emotions, regardless what this is going to take as a toll on the rest of the world. Okay, basically, uh, you are starting to recognize that 
the situations which are making you miserable, they need to be left behind in the past and you have to start moving toward a brighter, much more exhilarating perspectives and for you to do so, you will start taking a look upon your personal emotions, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel loved, for example, what makes you feel exhilarated, content, and so on and so forth. And you're going to start following it more and more. And that could lead once again to changing jobs. It could lead as well to a breaking marriages, for example, or it could lead as well to forming a relationship. So the whole point, it is that at the end of the month, here, you are going to be way more emotionally content than at the start of the month. However, that may, the price for it, it will not be paid by you, but by something or someone uh, else. And uh, on a more practical level, those two cards may point that a certain secret is going to come at your, um, at your awareness, secret that you may not like that much but it's going to have like an, an expired influence, meaning that it's not going to impact your life uh, in a severe way and you're just going to move on from it knowing that the worst it is over now. So moving into the next card, which is uh, the challenges that you will need to overcome here, we do have the Page of Pentacles and that is to be a person here that we do have. And Page of Pentacles, it is someone who is quite devoted to you. So this is why I gave the marriage situation because it does look like that this person isn't just walking away because you are already occupied or because you are working a different job, you know, or because you are busy with something else and you don't want to give them the um, appropriate attitude they deserve. It is because they are also emotionally attached to you in one or another way. For example, they are emotionally attached to you uh, in career perspective, meaning that they feel that you together are going to form a great team or they are emotionally attached to you in a sense of romance and they are kind of like seeing that you and them are very well compatible romantically and etc etc and that person is very devoted to you and to your things as well the thing with the page of pentacles it is that they whatever they're devoted to they find it worth in their while as a matter of fact it is the ultimate worth here that nothing else worth as much as that so for the duration of the month of february this person will try to stick to you as a glue and that will be a problem that is going to be a challenge because you will start because you are to start feeling stifled under their constant demand of attention or of um, being close a to uh, one another on a more practical level here the page of pentacles also may mean that you need to keep your belongings safe for one or another reason if you will not to overspend certain money on purchases or how can i say it not to uh kind of like expand um not to kind of like expense more than you actually can afford and then some unexpected expenses to come around that you cannot cover moving forward into the future. So uh, next one here for you, Leo, is going to be the gifts and the blessings. And there is no better card than that. Okay, that is going to be the devil card. Um, and uh, it simply says that you, as a gift and blessing, you are going to have the power to dictate your own circumstances. Okay, whatever you want goes, whatever you are hoping for can be manifested here with the devil. Uh, the thing with the devil, however, it is that, um, how can I say it? It needs to have a pure intentions behind it because that's at least in our orthodox uh, religion here. That's the difference in between the uh, the God and the devil. You know, God wants wants you to help yourself so he can help you, meaning that only you can help yourself. While the devil gives you everything you need, everything you want it with the hope so you can abuse it so to prove that your soul is not worthy for heaven. Now, are you going to abuse it? Are you going to uh, overstay your welcome, so to speak? Well, that depends on you. So that being said, you are, as a gift and blessings, you are going to be given the power to dictate the rules. You're going to be given the power to alter outcomes and to force circumstances, very fateful events, if you will. 
Are you going to abuse that power? Are you going to use it destructively or are you going to use it constructively? Well, that's entirely on you, okay? If you use it destructively, then you will have to live with it, okay? And you will have to pay the price for it. If you use it constructively, same thing goes, but the price is gonna be different. You get to enjoy what you have created. Otherwise, you get to mourn what you have destroyed, okay? So be very careful here with uh, the position you are, be, you are to be given throughout the month because you are gonna chase your happiness here for what we see, okay? And you're gonna have the power to do so. So don't be ruthless, guys. And always, how can I say it, think twice what your actions are going to have as an impact upon the people that are around you, okay? Because this, this momentum you're gonna have, this power it is just with you only throughout the month of February. In March, it may be a different story, okay? So don't get yourself intoxicated by it, but it is the best card in terms of gifts and blessings. It doesn't get any better than that. Take it that way that whatever your emotions lack or whatever your emotional state like, it kind of like appears as the insatiable hunger at that point, okay? So you lack love and that, that becomes insatiable as a hunger and the devil gives you the gifts and the blessings to feed that insatiable hunger, to, sati to satiate it. You can do it, but on what expense? This is something that you have to think about, okay? So how people are seeing you here uh, and what kind of an impression you're giving into people throughout the month, that will be the uh, Knights of Swords. And uh, actually people are going to find you very reasonable with whatever actions you take. And uh, uh, kind of like it is that there is a, a, that your actions actually make sense and your decisions make sense and they are uh, and they are the only logical extension you know to the current circumstances that you are in so oh do you have the power to force to force whatever circumstances or whatever um, you know um, situations you want people still are gonna see it that that is the only logical uh only logical extension therefore they will not gonna blame you for anything okay uh and they're also gonna find you quite determined and tenacious this time around to let to not let the things just go away like that and to someone to get away with something or you know to just escape or go go in between the the the, the water drops. I don't know how to say it. It's like, you know, to make that slinky escape or sneaky escape after they have done damage to something. So people who are to see you quite, uh, the word is determined. But as well, the very important thing here it is that people are going to see you quite in tune with your, uh, with your feelings and with your emotions, meaning that whatever decisions and whatever actions you make, uh, it's going to be purely to uh, make you happy, okay? So as well, this time around, people are not going to be judgmental to you unless they're um, very egoistic, okay? It's, it's kind of like they, the, the only thing that matters is their own happiness and that is narcissist type thing. They, they, they are only concerned with themselves and nothing else and no one else. And they think that everything, everybody and everything owns them something. So only those people are going to adjudicate you for what you are doing, but everything else and everybody else, even if they are not agreed with what you are doing and what kind of um, circumstances you are forcing here, what kind of decisions you are making, they will understand your point of view. Uh, and one more thing here, people are going to find you very smart as well. So it's a fantastic time for you to take exams, qualifications, and etc. etc. So the next one, it is uh, what is going to improve drastically your circumstances, what will help you to uh, reach your long-term goal throughout the month of February. We have the Five of Swords. Couple of things here, Leo, first of all, trust your healthy sense of mistrust, okay? There are some that may betray you, so do not um, make your goal or what makes you happy, that is, on, on a public public announcement, okay? Only to those that have been proven to be faithful to you should know, if at all, what you are after and how you plan to get it here, how you plan to, to satiate your hunger, all right? 
Uh, the other thing with the Five of Swords, it is that you once again have to consider what kind of a, a bill you are to pay uh, for uh, the um, for the manifestation of your goal. Because with the Five of Swords, sometimes, yes, victory is granted, but that victory could be a rather bitter victory than a sweet one, meaning that actually the price you have to pay for having this power of the devil card may turn out to be more than you actually know. So uh, this card here really urges you to kind of double check your capabilities and your limits, what you can handle as a result of certain actions and only attempt those actions that you can actually handle as a result, all right? Don't overstep yourself and don't, once again, don't, don't overstay your welcome here. Um, and last thing, it is that uh, with the Five of Swords, you always need to say the truth straight in the eyes and straight in the face. This is something I love um, saying, guys. Um, Especially, well, I had a few times back in the days, um, especially in the private readings where people uh, were saying they, when they come back for a second or a third reading, they are saying, you know, yeah, well, what you say kind of happened. I'm saying kind of happened because I don't want to brag about myself. But, um, but you could have said it in a more milder way. No, I mean, I can't. A truth is a truth and there is only one way to say it, straight in the face. Otherwise, if there is more than one way to say something, it's not a truth, okay? So you say it straight in, the face, straight in the face, and this is how you operate. This is what is going to improve your circumstances throughout the month. Next one, uh, it is what is going to deteriorate your circumstances throughout the month of February, Leo, and that is going to be the Nine of uh, Wands. And Nine of Wands here plays a role of a, a waiting way too much uh, for a change, and as well, having a, a second guesses as as everything is set into motion. It is like you set the plan into motion, okay? And somewhere in the midst of this execution, you have a second guess or you have a change of heart. You try to rearrange stuff. So once you have identified a certain way moving forward, once you have identified, for example, how you're going to mesmerize your future suitor or how you're going to become successful career-wise, this is what you follow. You do not have second guesses. You do not make changes last minute. It is what the Nine of Wands here tells us. And um, also the card points that you should not become overconfident here. Once again, your success throughout the month of February comes from the power given to you. And according to this card, you have much to learn. So while you do have a valuable, um, while you do have a valuable experience, Back from the days, it is not nearly enough, you know, to reach uh, those kind of heights that you are aiming for at that point. So don't become overconfident, but make a, a kind of like a big use from the momentum you have been given from your uh, gifts and blessings. And the final card that we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. We do have the King of Wands. And that card, it tells us only one thing here. You do have an ambition, right? Everybody has an ambition, but you in particularly, in particularly, uh, Leo, you can transform it into a, a such a powerful action, guys, and it will be a shame if you don't do it into the month of February. So whatever you are dreaming for, whatever you lack, well, just mark it as a target and go for it. It is, all, it is that initial momentum you need so you can create the inertia moving forward. But you have to kind of like um, restrict yourself to, to one thing. I don't know how to say it, all right? You, you just need to stop dreaming about it and start doing for it. So that being said, uh, this was your monthly tarot reading, Leo, February 2020. Hopefully, guys, you have enjoyed it. And uh, we are going to see each other next time, hopefully. Until then, bye.